What's up YouTube, it's your boy Kai and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm giving you guys my 6A upgraded demigod. Now, the only reason it's upgraded, you've seen, you've seen all the contact dunks I was getting in the clips, like the contact dunks are crazy. Now this build has Hall of Fame posterizer and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this build. He's not full on upgraded because the last 6A build is a little bit better just because it can do everything. But if you want to sit there and make a build that's usable and have a lot of fun with 99 dunk, this is your build right here. Now I made this build because my other 6-8 that I showed you guys before, my other uh in my avatar build or 6-8 demigod build video, they uh so when you do the welcome to the league quest, when you play my career, you do about seven, eight my career games, they give you plus four badge uh points. And for some reason they never gave me my badge points. So I I said, fuck it, I'm gonna make a new build, and I uh I can't use my uh 68 you know without the plus four badges so i decided to make another one and i didn't want to make the same build and spend a hundred dollars on vc on the same exact build so i decided to make another one and then i ended up stumbling across this build you know uh my guy quill the quill helped me uh make this build i've seen his build a little bit and then uh kind of switched his build up a little bit and made it to my own so uh this kind of kind of inspiration from quill so for handiness left for position you want to go point guard jersey number do my 2k league number which is number three those of you who don't know i'm a shooting guard for t wolves gaming which is the minnesota timberwolves professional uh 2k team so that's my that's my jersey number i win the 2k league so back into the build you want to go height you want to do six eight weight you want to do lowest weight and then for wingspan you want to do seven five i'm gonna tell you guys why you want to do seven five instead of seven six so body shape i always do compact all my builds i just feel like there's less bump uh from the defenders so what you want to do on this build, we're going to go right into it. 99 driving dunk. Now 99 driving dunks gives you limitless takeoff hall of fame, uh, post rider hall of fame, slithery finisher hall of fame, and aerial wizard hall of fame. You get all these glitchy badges hall of fame. You want to do standing dunk, you want to do a 70 for driving layup. Now the reason you want to do 70 is I, I try to get as much bad points as possible and you want to get a good standing dunk. I wish I could have got 80, but 70 works for me just fine. And you want to put this bronze rise up, up rise rise up on it's really good you get a lot of standing dunks for driving layup you want to keep at a 79 and for for close shot you want to keep at a 59 and you have 18 uh finishing badges then you want to go to three point and the reason you do wingspan seven five instead of seven six is the same reason i said in my last video you want to get 85 three now at 85 three you get a silver limitless range and with silver limitless range it uh it's better than bronze silver i feel like it's just fine in this game i can shoot from really far uh shoot on a hash just like a pure sharp can i can fade from three just like you guys seen in the clip so silver limitless range is fine now you want to put your mid-range up to a 71 just to get the 19 shooting badges so this build overall gets less overall badges than my last build but it's honestly way more fun to use just because of that 99 dunk so I'll give you guys a, a fun build and usable build that you can do with 99 dunk. So ball handling, 89, just like my last build. Uh, Hall of Fame, quick first step. That's why you do the 89. Everything else, and you know, killer combos, goals, good badge. Uh, but all, at 89, where you get the Hall of Fame, quick first step. Speed with ball, you want to max out to a 80. Pass accuracy, you want to put up to a 80 also, just to get those faster passes and the gold dimer if you want to put it on perimeter i put my perimeter, perimeter up to a 73 like i said before in my other video you can kind of make this build however you want you can sit there and change up perimeter with steel i like to put my steel up to a 90 now i like to make sure the defenders uh i like to make sure the defenders can't get the ball so i feel like if they can't get the ball then i don't need as high as perimeter if uh now sometimes you know you still have to play defense and with bronze clamps and uh you know, pick dodger, or get pick dodger, bronze, and everything. All the all the D badges I have right now, I feel like I can play enough defense with it. Bronze clamps, uh, pick dodger. That's not honestly all I need is bronze pick dodger, bronze clamps. Now when you play, I play more pro am, so I guard probably the second best score on the court. I don't really guard the point guard, but if you're more of a park player and you don't like play my play style of just going for every passing lane and getting it like that, then put your perimeter up over your uh over your steel you know with steel all you get is the gold interceptor you get the silver uh silver glove but 
if you're more of like an on ball defender, you want to play like that. Put your uh, put your perimeter up and your steal down a little bit more. For block, you want to do a 71. Now the reason I do a 71 is just to get the extra D badges, everything you can put up. For defensive rebound, you want to put it up two just to get the defensive rebound 32. It doesn't really do anything. Just just you just putting your points up just so you can uh, put up your build. For speed, you want to do an 80. For acceleration, you also want to do an 80. Just to have you know fast build. Speed is a Speed is when you're running up and down the court without the ball. Acceleration is when kind of your speed boosts and your initial quick first step. So you kind of, honestly, for a lot of your builds, I'll we'll give you a quick tip. Put your acceleration up higher than your speed if you have the ball a lot. If you don't have the ball a lot, then I would put your uh, your speed up more. But acceleration, I feel like, is more important than speed in this game. But for this build, I had to put it both at an 80 just to get this uh, 99 dunk off. And 80, honestly, it works just fine for me. For your strength, you want to put out a 35. Your vertical, you need your vertical to be at 82. Now, 82 gives you all the pro and elite contact dunks. Uh, I think 75 gives you all the pro contact dunks. 80 gives you one of the elite, and then 82 gives you every single contact dunk in the game, including the uh, the um, the contact alley. So put that, put those on. Put your vertical up to 82, and then your stamina, you want to put up to 86. And this is the build right here. I mean, I guess I have, do I have one extra bad point? Okay, I can put my stamina up to 87. So this is the build right here. So 99 driving dunk gives you these 18 finishing badges. The reason I do this is for the Hall of Fame posterizer, like I said before, and I'm not gonna lie, probably one of the best badges in the game. This badge is like really overpowered. I might do a whole video showing how overpowered Hall of Fame posterizer is. Uh, for your standing dunk, 70 mid range. I don't shoot a lot of mid ranges either. I'm gonna shoot a three. I'm gonna dunk the ball. So the 71 mid range should be fine. 85 three pointer free throw at 80. You can put this lower if you don't play pro am. If you're just more of like a, a park player, you want a glitchy 6 8 build, put your free throw down, put your stamina up. But I play a lot of pro am, so I put my free throw up. Pass accuracy 80 is fine. You also kind of you can put your pass accuracy to a little bit like a 78. And put the the action somewhere else. Let's see. I'm trying to see. Let me see if I can make one and get another badge somewhere. Okay, so you can put your pass accuracy down to a 78 and get another finishing badge, so you have 19 or more or more defense. But for my build, I do. Uh, I like the I like the 80 pass accuracy. I was testing out. You don't really need 80, but if you want the gold dimer, gold floor general, put it up to 80. Now for defense, like I just explained. These are the defense badges I need. 13, uh, Hall of Fame Interceptor, Silver Chase Down Artist, and I think I have Silver Glove on. I honestly don't run clamps. If I'm playing somebody better, I might run uh, clamps. I might put a... Uh, you can put the plus four badges that you get from my career on defense, but what I did, I put, uh, I put them on playmaking. So I put my plus four on playmaking so I can get 26 playmaking because the playmaking badges are really important in this game. You need unpluckable. For killer combos, you want to have this on just to like combo up. For clamp breaker, it just helps you give uh, get a lot of blow buys on defenders. So that's the reason I put plus four on playmaking, but you can put it on defense. And then yeah, these are all the, these are the stats right here, and this is the build right here. So I started off for the takeovers. I started off with finishing moves and easy blow buys, but after you get all your bad, bro, this face skin is ugly as hell. After you get all your badges. You uh you can change your takeover. So what I did now is I did finishing moves and I have limitless range. Just just so if people play low on me, I can sit there and I can walk back and shoot a lot of threes. I can I can shoot from far further, and uh, that's about it. So this is the build right here. I think you get the same comparison, same name as the other build I made. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check. Lava ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't get Lamelo ball anymore. But same thing. 6'8 inside out shot creator. This is the build right here. But like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what videos you guys want to see in the future. I'll get any video you guys want to see. I'm working on the drip tutorial, trying to figure out all the drip moves in the uh game, trying to figure every glitchy move out just so I can get an advanced drip tutorial, go from beginner to advanced. But that's it for this video. It's your boy Kai, and I'm out.